SJ. Some people say uh, I should get a, 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 a wrench, winch for the SJ. And um, I'll look into that. Harper Freight's got some setups. <clears throat> right now, I think the SJ is uh, doing pretty good so far. But uh, I gotta modify a, wren a wrench where you don't see it. How am I gonna do that? I don't know. That's the whole purpose of the SJ. I want it to blend in everything I do. Kind of bright, sorry. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I'm starting to take it off road. I will get one. A winch. I will. I'm going to mount it. Uh, I don't know yet. I really don't know. I figured that out when I crossed that bridge. No that time. Just want to show you guys LED lights. This is my time of the season, so I'm gonna make a lot of videos. I'm gonna have some surprise guests on the Man of Many Things show. <laughs> And I'm also going to have a cooking series. Yes, cooking series. I will be cooking out of the SJ. I have a friend who's uh, helping me out on a, I guess you call it a, well, I know how to make the grill out of the SJ, but he's going to make a, a platform. I don't know when. I hope he does it soon. Um... I would like to get him on my channel, but he doesn't want to be filmed, so anyway, he's into reptiles and stuff like that. He also has communications, which, um, you know, a little bit at a time, guys. You know, I'm a single parent, and uh, the pay at my job sucks. <laughs> has good benefits. They keep throwing that in your face, but, um, you know. It's like any other job, you just do the best you can. Being a single one paycheck is uh it's a little hard. But we could do it. I got over a hundred LEDs in here. I'll show you some things real quick again. For those who don't know, it's charge controller right there. off right now because the sun is not out I got a snap-on drop light it's on a 30-foot reel Fire extinguisher, inverter, which is right here, bins, analyzer, tells you how many bolts are in your battery, how many watts coming in, how many amps are coming off the solar panel. Gauge right here for the batteries in the back. It's 
It's not on right now. Turn it on. Priors are fully charged. Off this switch here. Right here. There's another switch for the solar panel. I can turn that off and on. Let's turn this off now. Emergency switch right there. Put the dual batteries in the back. Hopefully before it snows I can put a switch on for my LEDs because I have to plug it into the inverter. Which is a pain at times. That, in that strip here, I'm going to turn that off so I can show you guys. It's over, it's, it's like, it's, um, it's over 100 LEDs. I can't really see it, but it's 100 LEDs, really small. Over 100. And um, I got some some free time. So I'm gonna show you guys the uh, just talking, you know. Just turn off the lights. Get ready to go inside. Any more videos to come. You know, me and Troy talked about what's best, bug bugging in, bugging out. I don't know, you do the best you can. That's all I can say. This winter, I hope it's super, super deep, the snow, you know? Just have your water and uh, just things in your house. Do the best you can, that's all you could do because you don't know what's gonna happen. What kind of bug out situation might come? You know, what you know what mother nature might throw at you. So you do the best you can and you go from there. You know? Um, that's all you can do. Some people say, hey, you should do this to your truck and get a skid plate and do this. Yes, that sounds good. But what I would like to see, you guys show me what you have in your bug out vehicle. See, I'm not gonna have my truck where it's noticeable right now. It looks like it looks like any other truck sitting on this parking lot. You know, any other truck. I don't want it to to stick out. All that stuff it takes time, it takes money. You know, one step at a time. Right now, I, I did a lot to it. I mean, it sits really nice. I got over 200 pounds. Of, those batteries are heavy back there. I had to buy the air shocks, had to put them in. Bought the tires, and tires weren't cheap. And uh, as far as um, the weather, who knows what's gonna happen, man. It snows real bad. It rains and it snows and the sleet, and ice. Trees are falling, power goes out. Just do the best you can, man. Have light in your house, that's, that's uh, really important. And if it gets really bad where your town or your city tells you to go, just do the best you can. That's all you could do. Don't worry about the next person, worry about yourself. I mean, try to help each other if you can. Other than that, do the best you can. Yeah, I, I go and help Troy as much as I can. You know, he's a survivor. It's going to be crazy if he don't get that heat fix. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. He's going to have some crazy videos and you will see me over there because he has that open field. I'm going to take the SJ all in the back. I'm going to hook up the, the power if he runs out of power. From the SJ to his camper. 
and uh, I'm going to take the SJ. My last video went off-road. It's really nice out when it snows in that, uh, in that park, the state park. So I'm going to go back there and um, I'm going to check it out. There's a guy on YouTube, I think he's uh, upstate, New York prepper, I think. Hey, man, show me your bug out vehicle. Make a video, you know? And uh, I'm just getting ready for the winter. That's what I'm doing. I get new wiper blades. I had another problem with the SJ. I'll show you guys everything. I mean, I don't, I don't play any games. Cut this light on so you can see. I had a, I had a problem right here. But the back hatch, when I open it up, the wires, man, it, it's horrible. So right now the the um, rear wiper doesn't work. Um, nothing on the back hatch works. So I went to a junkyard and I bought a I bought a harness off another Jeep that was in pretty good shape. I don't know if you can see this, but here is the harness. And um, I gotta install that. I bought it for 25 bucks. I'll do it probably next weekend. So uh, that's what I gotta do with the SJ. One thing at a time. And um, I like making these videos for you guys. I hope you like them. Hope you like watching them. And please, like or dislike. Leave a comment. I'm trying to get to know you guys. And hopefully I get to meet up with a lot of you guys. Get a little meeting place, you know. Maybe once a month, twice a month, whatever. And, um, just have a good time. That's what it's all about. All right? So I guess I'll, um, <clears throat> he's my neighbor. He has a uh, Ford, what is this thing? Explorer. I drove it a couple times. It rides all right. It's top heavy. I feel like I'm, it rides nice. It's a, uh, it's good for on-road use. Off-road, I don't know what this thing will do. It has the CV joints in the, uh, all the way around and um well i know it's in the front like i have full axles in the front and the back with u joints i like that a lot better because it's the cv boots they rip game over and plus it's expensive and it's it's not as easy to replace as the u joints and uh the turning radius is it's it's really nice on this. I like this. I can turn around right in the trail with no problem. The uh, Explorer we took it in the woods and we had a hard time. So he doesn't go in the woods anymore. <laughs> All right, guys, and um, I'll talk to you later. Right? I want to see you guys make a bug out vehicle. Make a, show me what you got. You know? Alright guys, talk to you later.